Now then, everyone, and welcome to Scar House Res, where me and John starting our ride today. So instead of doing the classic route, which is along here, then up and over that way, we are going to turn left at the end of the dam and over Dead Man's Hill, which is this one here. And we are then going to head to Carlton and then do a fantastic descent to West Burton and then back over Dead Man's Hill and then back over Dead Man's Hill and back to Scar House. Big climby ride today. I think it's about three and a half thousand feet over 19 miles. So it's a, it's a brute of a ride is this one. Right, hope you enjoy it. What a lovely day for a bike ride. It is so still and warm today. And it's a Tuesday, so there's just nobody about. Let's stop and have a little panorama. Absolutely stunning. We're here a lot, aren't we, John? I never get sick of it up here, do you? Oh, hey. Lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. Especially today, look how still it is. So it makes a nice change. Because even in summer, it can be quite bleak up here, can't it? Yeah, yeah, so to get up here and there's no wind, it's like a bit of a treat. The Angram Reservoir just coming into view over there. I think on the way back, because we're this first section's an out and back. I think instead of coming back up this track and over Scar House Dam, I think I think we'll go to Angram and go over that dam instead. And then back down that road. Make it a bit more of a loop. Yeah, this first um, three miles, we're actually coming back this way as an out and back. As soon as we get over this, we do the loop and then back over. You have a nice view of it now, Dan. Might be a bit too far away for the GoPro. Stunning. Let's let the climbing commence. Yes, yeah, so this climb we're on now, we do actually descend this at the end of the ride. And it's a nice fast descent this. So so much to look forward to after we've climbed up the other side, which we're going to descend soon. Oh, brutal kicks up now. And my 52 tooth. It kicks up even more around the corner. There's the climb screen and the Garmin. So we're doing 18% grade at the minute. Jesus. That's it, we're at the top. So I had biking bits yesterday afternoon. Everything's stripped down, greased, lubricated, and it's still squeaking. So where that's coming from, I have no idea. I've had everything apart. Right, here we go then. Let's get the seat dropped. About a mile and a half percent. Just on a track like this. back up this later but it's not too bad of a climb. A steep bit now. Which is brutal coming back the other way. It's going to break all the way down here because it's so skittish. It's nearly there now. Where those houses are is the bottom. There's the brakes, we've gone. I thought they'd go a bit quicker than that, but... I've been on them all the way down. Just 
can show him the spade. There we go, right at the bottom. So what we're doing now is off up this road, right round in a big loop, and then we actually come over this hill here, which is a brutal one. Brutal. I think it's a 3.7 mile climb. It's climbing all the way up there and then we come over. All right, so we've got possibly, I think it's about three mile road section now, just on this little lane. Right, we've made it to Calton. We're turning left here. And starting the big climb to the top of the big descent, which is the main descent of this ride, which is really, really good. All right, go right here, and then we're off road again. Yeah, it's in two parts is this climb. There's this first section from Carlton and then it levels out and then it turns to grass for the second part and then you're at the top. It's an amazing descent. Oh, that's the first half done. Right, here we go, the second part of the climb. A bit more brutal is this because it's this all the way up. Grass, soft mushy grass. Yeah, we've got a lot of frog spawn here, look. Loads of it. Oh, I didn't see it all there, I just saw that part in the middle. Yeah, look at it all, loads of it. <laughs> right, that's the climb done. Now it's this fantastic descent. <laughs> oh shit, a bit hot in that corner. Cracking descent, this one of the best in the area. A bit of a rocky bit coming up. Nice fast section now. Excellent descent that. And then the rest of the descent is quite steep and quite rough like this. I'll just wait for John for this bit. There he is. Oh. Like that. <laughs> right, that's part of the descent. The rough section. Chunky rocks down here. Just what I like.
that's pretty good. Oh, that's a bit of a heat here, but we're nearly at the bottom. Oh, Jesus. I'll tell you what I miss about my Scott bike when I used to have that is the 2.8 tyres. I mean, they used to kill it going down there. 2.8s. So I think I might have another tyre change. I'm thinking about going 2.6 on this bike. I think that'll be a nice little sweet spot. I've got 2.35 at the back and a 2.4 at the front. If I go 2.6, I'll be able to drop those pressures right down and stuff like that will be really nice. All right, so we just had our lunch, ready for the biggest climb of the ride. So let's have a look at the data screen. So 3.14 miles to the top, 925 feet of climbing. And there's a the climb screen, look. So, yep, brutal. Well, so far so good on this climb. About a mile into it. We'll be turning off this road soon and that's when the pain will start. Look at this. Farmer's caught these moles and just hung them up on the fence like that. It's not very nice, is it, John? Taking one off your daughter. Oh, she'll love that. <laughs> yeah, my uh, stepdaughter loves um, dead animals. She likes standing on them and hearing that crunch. <laughs> ASMR. We'll stop on skins and I don't wear back in with that cat. <laughs> now if we see one, she wants me to bring home a skull. Well, it's got no fur in it or anything, yeah. just like a, a rabbit skull or something. She wants yeah. me to bring it home, so if you see one. Yeah, so kicked up big style now. I'm in the granny gear, 52 teeth. That's how steep we are. Yeah, we're winning now. Not much to go that steep bit and then flatten off a bit. I think we kick up again. I can't remember what it's like. Right, so we're doing good. Apart from that gate we've just come through, I'm not dabbed yet. I think somewhere down here there's a big gully, big hole in the ground. There it is, a little bit of a gully. God, yeah. yeah, let's have a look around there. Looks quite nice. Very nice. Very pretty, isn't it? Not more to disappear. I won't go too far near the edge, but it's not that bad, is it? Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Right, it's last section of the climb till we get to that horizon and then we descend down to the road and then we uh, do the out and back bit again back to Scar House. So a hefty, hefty climb to um, look forward to, the one we've already descended. Just about to hit the top so it's going to be uh, descent time shortly. Right, it's descent time now by the looks of it. And that big hill in front of us, that's what we're going up. Yeah. Pleased with my riding today. This is a hell of a climby ride, and I've not really struggled that much. So the fitness is coming back nicely. Been putting the mileage in though, been trying to do minimum of 40 miles a week through the week. Yeah, but we've had some reward on this ride. It's just that the climbs are that big that it just doesn't seem like you've done much descending, does it? No. But we've done that huge descent there, that huge descent at Carlton. When we get back up the top of this, 
we've got that big descent lamps. down to um Scar House. House yeah. We've got this descent, so it's quite yeah. even, isn't it, really? Yeah. Let's see what this one's like. That last one was a bit iffy. It wasn't really descent that, were it? No. So we've got 1.3 mile descending now, but straight down. lost in a short space of time. Oh, Jesus. Did you like that? Yeah. That was good, wasn't it? Yeah, I like them. It'd have been nice if, uh, the, if it had gone down in S's yeah. rather than just go oh, straight like, down. Like. So I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there, look, that's the climb. That's the worst part of it. It levels out a little bit, but yeah, that's where we're off. Right, John, we've got nearly a thousand feet of climbing now, right? Yeah. It's all right for you, isn't it? Last time my battery died. All right for you, isn't it, mate? It worked last time, was it? What, did you come up here without a battery? Yeah. You got battery now, though, you can yeah. have, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like I was saying, you're all right, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, John's last ride, it did a ride over here in EMTB mode. He ran out of battery when he got to this climb. He had to push his bike all the way up. That first little initial bit is the worst. We've made it. Don't forget this climb run now. We actually descended this at the beginning. It was great. Oh, that's the steep bit done. That was a killer. All right, this is the second half of the climb. Probably looks completely flat on camera, but it's an 8% grade. And the horizon right above there, look, is the top. Finally nearly there. I think it's taken about 45 minutes to get up here. Right, it's nearly descent time. Back down to Scar House, which was the first climb of this ride. Lovely view of Angram Reservoir there. We are actually heading to Ang Angram now. We're gonna go back that way. Go is Angram Dam. Not as spectacular as the Scar House Dam, but it's still beautiful to look at, isn't it, John? Yeah. Yeah, so the architecture of Scar House Res is just unbelievable. The amount of attention to detail those men did when they were built it. Well, this one is still very nice. So, if you was wondering, these two reservoirs feed Bradford. Yeah, the workmanship on the Scar House Dam is a bit grander than this one, isn't it? Yeah. That's a lovely 
shot of Angram there. Beautiful. Yeah, looks like you could have a uh, good night's sleep in there. Wonder if anyone slept in it. <laughs> yeah, no one probably knows what I'm talking about there, but apart from one person, if you're watching, I won't say. So that's where we started the ride, going across the Scar House Dam there, then along that track, those trees, and then up there look right we're just about back so i'll end the video here yeah great ride that a lot of good descents a lot of good climbs yeah like i said it feels like a climby ride because the descents are just over that fast and the climbs are all really big strung out climbs like climb number three was 3.1 miles long so it just seems like you're climbing for ages with no reward but if you look at the elevation of this ride it's as much reward as there is pain yeah come try it it's another option for you instead of just doing the the classic nidderdale loop which goes round here to ramsgill and loft house right thanks for watching everyone i'll see you on the next one you enjoy that, mate? Did? <laughs> <laughs>